So guys, it's uh, 12 and uh, today is fifth day of our Singapore tour. Yesterday, the day started actually very late today because yesterday we have a pub crawl which was a lifetime experience and today we are going to visit uh, Universal Studios Singapore and uh, Sentosa Island again. So in Sentosa Island we are going to cover Luge Ride, Southeast Asia Point and uh, the Merlion and in Universal Studios we are going to experience limited period event which is horror night. So right now we are going to have our brunch in Murugan Illi, which is famous here for South Indian food. Come guys. We again visited Sentosa Island to visit southernmost point of continental Asia, have a fun luge ride and see the tallest merlion in the country. Sentosa Island is managed by Resorts World Sentosa. It is an island off Singapore's southern coast, connected to the city by road, cable car, pedestrian boardwalk and bonorail. It is now home to beaches, resorts, universal studio, golf course besides other attractions. We explored some beaches and southernmost point of continental Asia which is situated right on the Palawan beach. So southernmost point of continental Asia is based on a tiny island that is accessible via a suspension bridge to bring one across to the southernmost point. Flanked by the two viewing towers, the timber viewing deck offers an uninterrupted view of South China Sea. You would be able to observe many ships, cargoes and can experience the mightiness of world's busiest transshipment hub. On the other side you will get a panoramic view of Palawan Beach. The gorgeous Palawan beach on Sentosa Island is one of the best family beaches in Singapore with fine white sand, the clear blue water and the warm cozy atmosphere. Out of the three beaches in Sentosa, namely Siliso, Tanjong and Palawan, Palawan beach is often considered to be the most relaxing and is the only one that is kids friendly. The Palawan beach grants access to suspension bridge which connects it with the southernmost tip of continental Asia.
then we experience thrilling luge ride the luge ride is a self driving car system in which riders control the speed by pushing a pair of handlebars back and forth the luge ride goes down the hill relying on gravitational pull to move after the ride the 315 meter long sky ride using chair lifts brings the riders and luge carts and the helmets back to the starting point the sky ride is similar to the sky lift in luge ride there are four tracks namely jungle trail dragon trail kupu kupu trail and expedition trail it was very much fun to have this ride and both kids as well as adults can enjoy these rides to the fullest hence it's a must must visit on sentosa island After luge ride we headed towards Singapore's highest merlion Sentosa Merlion is a gigantic 37 meter tall statue housing two viewing galleries and a souvenir shop. One can have 360 degree view of Sentosa Island from the top of the Merlion. Our next stop was at Halloween Horror Nights inside Universal Studios. Halloween Horror Nights is an annual special event that occurs at Universal Studios in September and October month. This year in 2019, the event showcased five haunted houses and two scary zones. The haunted houses are main attractions at the event. Curse of Naga, the chariot hauntings. Twisted Clown University, Spirited Dolls, and Hell Block Nine were the five haunted houses. We visited all the haunted houses and then two scary zones as well. A scary zone is a name given to specific outdoor areas that feature costume characters that fits the zone's theme with the intent of scaring people who walk through the areas. The Horror Nights event was really scary.
Sentosa Island is full of fun and we ended this day with this funny scary pose. Meet you tomorrow on the day 6th.